Hey guys, it's Dukon Red one and welcome back to another Sea Bridge update. Episode 29, here we come. So there is a lot to see, a lot of new buildings that have been built up. Uh, we got some new builders that we have led over here to build and it's really turning out to be quite an interesting outcome. Lots of cool things to see. As you can see, we have done a lot over here. We've added some buildings. There's some ships that's being built around and we're going to look at those in the near future. But before we get to that, we're going to look here at the shipyard really fast. This is the dry dock and uh, it's kind of our own little system. It's not exactly realistic per se, but it's more more or less just to our own our own desire, like what we thought it would look like and you know what we think would work. But this is what we have came up with. It's still not finished around. There's still some details that need to be added in, you know, open spots and things that need to be filled up. But over here we have a place where the carpenters can carve out the wood and build, you know, the stuff up here that would be used for the the building of this ship down here. And you got a little crane that would allow those resources to be let down, the building supplies. And then of course we have a gigantic gigantor crane here. This is just sort of a, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting. I feel like it works. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think? Does this work or not? I'm sure there's some engineers out there that would be, um, you know, kind of skeptical about this, but the way this would work is you have a hamster wheel here where the people can, um, basically this allows for the human strength to be, you know, multiplied by several times. And then you have the rope system going through here, it goes up, back, and then all the way forward and down. And then you have all this support system, and then of course, you know, there'd be more like gears and whatever in order to make the, you know, the multiplication of power, you know, of manpower to be uh, more efficient, but it is what it is. And then we have the counterweight back here. I think the counterweight looks pretty good back there, and then it's on this platform and such. So I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, that's where the carpenters would be. And then over here is where they would bend the wood. So the way that I have, I kind of realize, or that I know that they bend wood, is what they do is they first put coals down, or you know, wood or whatever, and then they burn that wood, and then they make it really hot into really hot coals. Then on top of that, they put thatch, and they do that really quick, like wet thatch to sort of create a smoke, you know, smoke effect. And then they put the wood that they want bent on top of that, and then they put dirt on top of that, I, I'm pretty sure, and then they move this cover, they'll move this cover like over really quick to keep it so that all the steam just sort of like um, congregates inside of this contraption we have built. And then that's how, you know, the wood would moisten, you know, it heat up and moisten so that way it can become pliable so that they can bend the wood. And this is sort of the system that I came up with where they would bend the wood. Uh, it's just kind of interesting. I thought it would be a pretty cool idea. It's kind of simple in a way, but eh, it's okay. Then we got a pile of wood over here and such like that. But we need to move on because we don't want to spend all of our time looking around that. We have a, this is a warehouse here. We have a tavern right here straight in front of us. This is the temple to Bentus, the god of trade and merchants and stuff like that. Here lies the temple to Bentus. May there thee be blessed by him on your journey or punished for your sins. But yeah, this was built by T.S. Groot, the pro, as we all know. But um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. I really like these little chapels that we are adding around. Here we have another warehouse here. This one was built by Tiger Bread. Really cool design. I like what's going on here. It's a sail maker, as you can see on the inside. Um, I still think there needs to be some more indication that this is a sail, ma sail maker on the inside, but one way or the other, it looks really nice. I really like the design. Very, very cool. We got a few fishing boats around, and uh, we got a cargo ship being built here. We have a very interesting, what I call a needle ship here. Um, very cool, very neat. Uh, it's very, you know, sort of a needle design. And then again, we have a Viking longboat, but I'm pretty sure we had seen that on our last update. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty neat little ship, as you can see. Um, pretty flat bottom and everything. Actually, I've been watching the Vikings lately, and uh, I think I'm midway through episode 9 right now. I didn't watch the whole way through because I had to go, but, uh, but yeah. Vikings is pretty cool. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so this here is another cargo ship built by Lego James Bond. 
uh, no, 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 not Lego James Bond, Lego Tengu. I am sorry, forgive me. Uh, but yeah, this is a really neat ship. I like how it's built. Um, the back part took a little while to sort of uh, hammer out the design, but I think it turned out pretty well. Very fat ship. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a cargo ship or a military ship. There's like these ballistas and stuff on top, but one way or the other, pretty neat. Um, I think he did a good job with that, so we'll be moving on from that. This one was built by Predator. He made a pretty neat little, uh, oh goodness, what was this called? I forget what type of ship this is called. Um, yeah, it's a, uh, da -da 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 -da, a flute, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure if he said it was building a flute or whatever, but still, it's a pretty cool looking ship. Once you guys say, I like the back. It looks pretty interesting. It sort of comes up on the back, swoops up. I like this design. It makes it feel very, very rich in a way. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, again, if this is a cargo ship or if it's a military ship the interior is finished oh cool i didn't realize the interior was finished i'm almost really curious now to walk through this oh the tin interior is not finished never mind but still one way or the other pretty cool we have some more docks over on this side as you can see it's all sort of expanding and i think this hasn't been updated since last but this is the lighthouse the great lighthouse that allows people in the future plan is for there to be a lighthouse on the other side as well but of sort of this size, but we'll see as time progresses what will happen. And then we have a fort over here. The towers have changed again. I'm not sure if that was on the last update, but that is um, pretty cool. I'm not, yeah, I think it was only wool the last time we saw that tower. I'm pretty sure you guys saw this fortress. And then here we have a logistical office, a place where people can come in and sort of, um, you know, decide on deals and trade customers trade stuff and all that stuff would be taken care of in here lots of money going around so sort of in a way kind of a bank you know sort of a uh, you know where they would pay people and stuff like that I don't know we have another warehouse here pretty sure you guys haven't seen that yet and then yeah that is about that for this side you guys already seen the ship here uh, my own sort of style of ship not a uh, it's based off a of byron but it's my own little design and uh, yeah, I like doing that kind of stuff. And then I have not worked on this at all lately. But the biggest thing about this episode is we have made a large expansion over here to the southern quadrant, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, to the southern quadrant of uh, Seabridge right here is where we've made this large expansion out. As you can see, there's cliffs all along here. This is where the sea would be. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Uh, that's not supposed to be like that, but okay, that's fine. But yeah, there's going to be, there's this lighthouse here where, uh, again, another place where the ships can see and you know, not run into the rocks. The lighthouse keeper's house there. And then we have like a brothel right here, as you can see, an Italian themed brothel. It's sort of, um, it sort of stands out from the rest of the town, but I think it really is a good theme, like having different themes of buildings around. I really think this works out really well and uh, looks really cool. And then this is a garden for that brothel. So this is actually one of the richest brothels in the town. It is called what? It's called the Casablanca Brothel, Mediterranean Imported Girls. Mm, very interesting. So yeah, we'll be, we'll be moving on from that. So this here, you guys, a lot of you are probably complaining about this, but this here is the Bank of Seabridge, or a large bank. Uh, I added in the tower because I felt like it was too symmetrical and adding in the tower added in a good bit of this symmetry And then there is a bell up here or there will be a bell up here But this is the bell tower at the top and then you have the sort of stairs that head all the way up to the top and such And there's actually one of their coolest things about this is that it has this um, the uh, the What do you call it? The place where you store money down below. I thought that was really cool. And this is actually what we're going to be working on soon. I'm going to have a time lapse after this, and you guys can watch this uh, as I unfold it and build it. Uh, I don't finish it in the video. It's still not finished, but still, um, I think it worked out pretty good. So this quarter down here is going to be a place where they produce coins and such for the Empire, or for Seabridge. This is where they would import, import um you know, whatever metals and such, they would forge those metals into bricks and such. As you can see, we got a big old 
kiln here where they would uh, do all that. And then there's all kinds of different buildings and things. And like this would be a place where they would uh, forge the gold and all kinds of different production line things here. So that's what all this is. Over here we have a barracks and then this is a stables here for the horses. Um, so this is sort of the military quarter since it's coming closer to the fort. As you can see, the fort has expanded. Um, it was too small compared to the other forts, so we decided to expand it a little and make it a little bit bigger. And then this here is the temple to Laris, or the chapel to Laris, the goddess of beauty. And uh, it kind of makes sense since the brothel is right up there, and it's very beautiful. It's a very nice, serene area like you'll be looking over the sea this way and i really like this idea i thought it was a really interesting thing to do and uh yes this was built by Uminum. um he did a really good job on that and uh beautiful beautiful building i really 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 like this it's based off of an armenian church pretty sure um correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure that's based off an armenian church so i think that is about it i don't think there's really anything else to see other than we got a little tavern here being built I'm not sure if it's finished yet. It's not finished yet. Or is it? It is finished. Okay, it just looks kind of empty. But I guess it's not empty. It's just dark. So, yeah. So, I think that is all there is to see. I hope you guys enjoyed. And let's go ahead and head on right to that time lapse.
All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's just a really quick kind of thing. It's not like the last episode where I put in a lot of work to do that, um, that ship that I had done last time, the Byream style ship. But it is what it is. It is this is a merchant's house that we have been building. We don't do the interior by the time the time lapse is over, but we do get a good bit done. We get the exterior done and it's very interesting. I like how the roof is shaped and I like how we've detailed the sides and such. I think it turned out to be pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what we can add into Seabridge, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And I'm sure that we can add whatever you guys might think should go in. Maybe it's a bank. Maybe it's a... Um, uh, I don't know, another theater. I've been wanting to actually add in a one of those globe theaters, the round theaters, that uh, I think that are really iconic for the Middle Ages and such, and I really want to add something like that in. I already have a small outside theater for Seabridge, but it's not quite to what I want now. Like, that's like an old theater. That's what I added in a long time ago. Now I want to add in something a little bigger, and eventually I think that might happen we will see as time progresses I, I don't know it all depends on um, circumstances and logistical situations but we will see what happens but yeah I think this turned out pretty good uh, the merchant here would be a food merchant he would be the guy that would sell lots and lots of food stuffs and um, give lots of stuff to Maybe the poor, maybe this is where, uh, maybe we can have like a certain place where the poor, like maybe he's a very, um, a very kind individual and he gives a lot of stuff to the poor. So that's, you know, maybe we could do that. You know, we, it's nice to add in nice little bits of lore like that to just make it more interesting and try to build it in so that it's, you know, visibly. It's visibly, you know, you can per perceive it visibly instead of, you know, just kind of having it in the back of your mind, like just the builder knows. That's the cool thing about building is you want to portray to anyone that sort of sees it that to show them of what you intend that to be and, you know, what little bits you plan on uh, having in there. So, but yeah, the, the city of Seabridge is coming on very well. It's taken a while, and it will continue to take a while. There's a lot yet to do, but as time progresses, we are getting closer and closer to the finish, and uh, there is a possibility that um, it'll be finished within the year if, if it continues, so we will see um, what will happen there. But yeah, this is episode 29 of Seabridge, and hopefully more to come. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a great day or night wherever you're from. And I will see you on the next one. Till then, bye-bye.